Hey guys, Jay here. Welcome to Eons of Battle. I like the Black Templar just a little bit. I have a 10,000 point army that I've been collecting for almost a decade. They are by far my favorite faction in 40K. I consider them the worst of the good guys. They're completely zealously devoted to defending the horror story that is the Imperium of Man, and I just love them. And Games Workshop not that long ago came out with a whole range refresh of the Black Templar. And I looked at it, but I didn't really look at it. Weirdly, just a few weeks ago, I bought uh, my first box of new Black Templar and I realized like I hadn't bought any of the new stuff. Like, I don't know why it just felt like I already had, but it is now time to do a deep dive on the new Black Templar from a Black Templar fanboy's perspective. I'm gonna take a look at these guys from most important to least important in terms of like status within the Black Templar Legion. Also, the Black Templar is a legion, not a chapter. They do not follow the Codex Astartes. And I believe before the Gathering Storm novels and like the new Primaris Marines, the Black Templar were between 5,000 and 10,000 Space Marines, where all of their chapters are around 1,000 Space Marines, because that is the doctrine of the Codex Astartes. But the Black Templar don't follow none of that nonsense. They do whatever they want. And the reason that they get away with it is because they are so devoted to the Imperium of Man that the Imperium is like, yeah, they just get to. And so starting off with the new Helbrecht, the Grand Marshal of the Black Templar. And this guy really shows off kind of the idea of all of these new miniatures is they are incredibly faithful. They're faithful to the old models and they're very faithful to the old artwork and design. This guy is based off of some really old art him stabbing his giant sword into an orc with his hand that's missing because it was taken by Imhotek the Stormlord, the Necron leader. And his little servitor is giving that sword a little rubby rubby, cleaning it off. I just love the idea of him just jogging along and anytime he gets, he's polishing the armor and cleaning the sword. This model is absolutely fantastic. And comparing this to the old Helbrecht, Holy cow. I mean, the old Hel old Helbrecht was good. It was very good, but it suffered from the same problem that a lot of like 2007 to 2011 miniatures suffered from where they, they were space Marines with little tiny baby boy legs. <laughs> Back in the Diz A, like when models were metal first, like second edition, third edition, the models were sm much smaller, but they were kind of well proportioned. They weren't as decorated, but when the idea of Space Marine armor really solidified and the shoulder pads got a little bigger and their chests got more embellished and their backpacks got bigger, their legs didn't really catch up because they had to stay the same height. And so a lot of old characters, even the better ones like Helbrecht and some of the other Black Templar characters we're going to look at, they had tiny, tiny little Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes legs, and it looked absolutely ridiculous. And that's part of the reason why I never actually picked up this model, even though I've been collecting Black Templar for like eight years. Never, never really picked this model up. Also, uh, I was in high school when I started this army and I didn't have a lot of money. And so I had never wanted to spend like $30 on one character. I would much rather save 10 more dollars and then buy like a whole box or a Rhino or a Razorback. And so, yeah, definitely, n I like the old Hellbrecht, but I the new one is so cool. The new one is so cool. He's big, he's impressive. He's got real legs <laughs> that don't look like, ah, uh, that don't look like a child's legs. They He looks large, in charge, impressive. His detailing is amazing, but it's also very, very faithful. The the His backpack is the same. His skull now has an iron halo attached to it, which I think looks amazing. The face is basically identical to the old Helbrecht. It's probably actually the same size too because of how bad the scaling was on the old figure and that huge, impressive base. Uh, Marco Frisoni, not just Mega, has a wonderful video of painting this model up in four hours. And it's like one of the most beautiful models I've ever seen in my entire life because he can just paint unbelievably well quickly. And yeah, this model is amazing. I can't wait to pick this model up. I actually have a um, a not Games Workshop Hellbrecht miniature from War Games Exclusive, and it's lovely. 
But uh, I think I might actually have to pick up the official one too because it is just a really, really cool miniature. It looks just like the art and the armor. It looks just like the old armor, just made you know to actually look good with good proportions. So yeah, new Helbrecht, really, really cool. And of course, we can't have a new Helbrecht without a new Grimaldus. Reclusiarch Merrick Grimaldus. The new model, again, the new model is exactly the old model, but looks actually really good. The old, I don't mind the old model as much. I think the old model is excellent. It still suffers from tiny baby boy legs, but wow, those are some really, really little legs. But the it's great. The detailing is all fantastic. And so I'm glad that they just took that and brought that right over into the new model. And it looks so good. Some of the things have been fleshed out a little bit. His backpack with the broken sword, Oh, I love that it has a skeletal hand chained to the handle of the sword. Presumably that hand is the previous owner of that sword and they're carrying it into battle just as some weird uh, symbol of like, like they're, they're honoring him, but it's weird to just have his hand glued to the sword. Ah, oh, I love it. His Crozius looks super cool. He's just, he's just about to bap somebody so hard. And he's got the plasma pistol, the new, um, the new Primaris plasma pistol, which when I get this model, I, I think I like that his old plasma pistol had two scopes on it. It's kind it's got the, the scope sitting right on top, but then it's kind of got an offset scope, which you, you actually see on real guns. Sometimes they'll have offset rails so that if your optic, like the batteries run out or something, you can quickly switch your, the way you're holding it and then be looking through other, uh, another scope. And so I like to think that's, that's, He's like a, he's, he's a real tactical operator like John Wick. And so I think I might try to get some scopes out of my bit spin and put those onto his plasma pistol. But other than that, I love this model. It's so cool. The skulls, the, the skull knee pads on his legs are amazing. I also feel like this guy wouldn't be that hard to kitbash and convert. I do like the pose of the old Grimaldus as he's kind of reaching up into the heavens. And so I think I might try to kitbash the new Grimaldus to be in a similar pose as the old Grimaldus. Although I much, much prefer the new one. Ah, really, really cool model. Really cool model. And his retinue, I mean, his old retinue, ah, they were good. They were good. But the new ones are just the same thing, but much, much better. I mean, the old, the old banner guy, he was holding like two sheets of toilet paper that were hanging over <laughs> a flagpole. Whereas on the new one, it is a proper, beautiful banner with the skeleton of some heretic just chained up to the top of it with tons and tons of candles and purity seals. Oh, it's so cool. And he's got the incense burner. I love that one of them is just holding a, just a chunk of castle. Just carrying that around because the other Space Marines just think it's so cool. Like, yeah, he's got that little piece of castle and we all know the story of that castle. And so we're going to fight harder and better and faster because of that lobotomized fella carrying a chunk of castle. So, so cool. I love Grimaldus. I love his retinue. And now I'm excited to pick it up as opposed to a model where I'm like, it's pretty cool. It's got problems, things I don't really like about it, but I guess I got to buy it because it's black tablet. No, the new model is like, I want it. I want it in my collection. It looks so cool. Ah, good old Grimaldus. And the hits just keep coming with the new Marshall. This is the generic Marshall. The black, it's the same thing as a captain. The black Templar don't have captains and lieutenants. They have marshals and castellans, but they're, they function the same way in the game. But this is the generic Marshall. And it's a uh, it's under the High Marshal, which is obviously Helbrecht, who's the leader of all of the Black Templar. The Marshal is the captain of a single crusade. And this model, this model looks super super cool, and it might look really familiar to people who remember the old 1998 limited edition Captain from Third Edition, and that was carrying a an axe and a combi Melta. But this model is designed in such a way that this one, this model can be that old model from third edition, which is a really cool touch. It's he's posed similarly and he he's comes with the weapon loadouts and the the gas mask that some Space Marines wear for some reason. But it looks pretty cool. And 
It's really fun. I actually have the 1998 model, and so I'm really tempted to get this Marshall and and put him together to exactly mimic the old miniature, because I think it'd be fun to have those two sitting next to each other. One of them dramatically smaller than the new one. Ah, oh, his cape is billowing in the wind. He has a crucified heretic just chained up over his head, just looking at him. And they've taken the Templar symbol and they've just stamped it into the skull of this poor guy. Ah, oh, it's, it's such a cool model. It's got so much energy to the pose. It looks absolutely phenomenal. And I really like the Templar's -y head. It's got this weird band that kind of goes around and then I guess protects the nose. And it looks, it just looks so medieval and interesting. And I think it fits the Black Templar so, so well. He's also got this, um, the Black Templar sword brethren used to have these on their old miniatures, but they have a normal shoulder pad and then they have their cape pulled up over their shoulder pad and then they have this giant slab of metal that they kind of pin on top of it. And so that's a really fun detail to include on this miniature. Yeah, I absolutely love it. It's the other two were cool, but like I've I've seen them before in artwork and stuff, but this is a totally new thing for the Black Templar and I absolutely love it. It's also kind of got leg armor that harkens back to like third edit or um, Mark III armor for Space Marines. Really, really cool. But that is just the Marshall. Let's get to the Castellan. Now, my one of my favorite things about the Black Templar is the old John Blanche artwork. And so this guy is literally copy paste the just a weird guy that John Blanche drew in the background of the beautiful spread of the Black Templar. And ah, uh, I absolutely love it. It wasn't a controversy, but when this guy came out, there was a huge debate online if people, for people being like, is he Primaris or is he a normal Space Marine? And the answer is it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's in the appropriate scale. He looks awesome. He looks fat, which I really like. I don't think there's nearly enough fat guys in 40K, but this model is excellent. It looks exactly like the artwork. It's so cool. I would love to see somebody paint this up in the Zorn palette so that it literally looks exactly like the original artwork. This model is phenomenal. I love his giant skull shoulder pads. When I get this model, I'm gonna be really tempted to cast his shoulders so that I can have weird skull shoulder pads on a bunch of my other Space Marines. I might rip the shoulder pads off of some of my current Space Marines and put on skull shoulder pads because I think they're really, really cool looking. And his rather dainty axe is just so interesting and fun. I love it. With the little stabby part on the top and the, I guess, stabby part on the back and the choppy part on the front. It's just, uh, axes are super fun. And he's got a combi weapon that it, it doesn't look like the current Primaris guns. It it's, uh, kinda looks like its own thing. I mean, obviously it's pulled straight from the artwork, but it is really, really cool. And it's kinda small, which I think sometimes, uh, Games Workshop makes the guns big because guns are cool, but sometimes it is nice to have like a smaller gun that still has j enough detailing to get the job done, but is not like the same size as the model itself. This model is so cool and so badass. I absolutely love it. And now moving on to another very important Black Templar model, the Emperor's Champion. And the, I ha the old Emperor's Champion was a fan favorite of people. Technically the Emperor's Champion can be a thing from any Space Marine chapter because a lot of them have Emperor's Champions, but the Black Templar, it's like the Emperor's Champion is an incredibly important, almost like religious thing to them. On the eve of battle, all of the Black Templar have a huge mass service and the, the chaplains are just up there speaking. And sometimes a random Space Marine, just any Black Templar Space Marine will have a vision, a vision sent to him from the Emperor. And the chaplains take him and they interrogate him and they see if this was in fact a true vision from the Emperor. And if they find that it was a true vision, he's taken out of his Space Marine role and he is that they put on the armor of faith and they give him one of the 10 sacred black swords. And if he just, he, at that point, he is 100% convinced that he has been handpicked by the Emperor to be the ultimate badass. 
and he just wanders into battle, picking fights with every and anything. He accepts every challenge, and he just absolutely fights to the death. And, I mean, because he believes he's such a badass, he just becomes such a badass on the battlefield. And so the Black Templar isn't, like, some really cool guy or some really cool thing from the lore, but it's just a guy who is completely swept up in the, the Imperial faith. And he's clad in rather plain armor and carrying a very special sword. And it's a really cool thing that the Black Templar do. And uh, the new model, I liked the old model and I like the new model. The old model was very Roman. It was very Ultramarines. And the new model is much more medieval, kind of probably a little bit more faithful to the Black Templar. So I really like the new model. Although I think I actually liked the old sword. Swords in 40K, are a dime a dozen, everything has swords. But that, the old sword looked really fancy and different compared to a lot of the other stuff. Whereas the new one kind of looks more normal, like something you might see on a normal Black Templar carrying a sword. So I think I would, I have the old model, so I might be tempted to just snap the old sword off and put it on the new one. But the new sword is excellent too. There's nothing really wrong with it. I think I just like the old, the look of the old one. I think I also like that the old one has a different aesthetic. I think I think it would actually look good to have the sword be the the odd man out in terms of like the look of the model to have him look, you know, proper medieval Black Templar, but his sword to look kind of weird and from a different time. But yeah, I really like the new model. Uh, the old model is an itty bitty little thing and the new model is a proper, proper scaled Black Templar. Really, really cool. And speaking of things that are really, really cool, next up on my list is the Eons of Battle Patreon. Over there, we have a Miniature of the Month Club. This month, we have a bound demon that has a ball gag in its mouth. It's quite a model. You also get access to one extra episode of Eons of Battle a week, tons and tons of terrain STLs to fill up your game boards, and every Friday, we all hop into a Discord server and we just chit-chat the night away. There's also merch linked in the description. Next up on the Black Templar list is the Blade Guard Veterans. And this is the only new Black Templar Space Marine kit that I have purchased and I put them together and they are phenomenal. And once again, incredibly faithful to the old sculpts. The old sculpts were available in metal forever and then they were available in resin forever. And these are beloved models I know a lot of people purchase these for their other Space Marine armies just to use as um, as sergeants and captains. But the new ones are, I mean, the new ones are just the same thing, but way better, way better pose, way better stuff. Ah, oh, it's they're lovely, lovely, lovely miniatures. But you can you can build the new ones exactly like the old ones, which is really, really fun. You can also give them new stuff because they're plastic and they're multi-part and they have a lot of options. I built mine with all swords, but you absolutely can build them with uh, a hodgepodge of different weapons, including power mauls, power axes, lightning claws, which this, I think this is the second time we've seen the kind of primarisified lightning claws, which are so much better than the old lightning claws because the old lightning claws were power fists with lightning claw claws hot glued to the ends of them. And it was always weird that they were power fists because power fists are way better than lightning claws. So how come my power fist becomes a much weaker weapon when it's got Wolverine claws coming out of it? But the new lightning claws are just a gauntlet that slides over the wrist of the wearer and has a couple of blades sticking out. And I think it's a much better look that looks like what it actually does in the game as opposed to a giant power fist with claws. Oh, and those claws did not form well in the uh, Games Workshop fail cast, let me tell ya. Holy moly. But yeah, these new models are absolutely excellent. I love them. I have one box. I think I need at least one more box to get every option that I want. They are the Sword Brethren. So Space Mar uh, Black Templar Space Marines are, can be, are either Neophytes, Initiates, or Sword Brethren. Sword Brethren is like a Sergeant or a Veteran. And so they are the elite of the Black Templar. And speaking of neophytes and initiates, we now have a proper Black Templar Crusader squad. Now, something we have never actually had. Back in the Dizay, what you were meant to do is you're supposed to buy a box of tactical marines 
and then you're supposed to buy the Black Templar upgrade frames and then clip the torsos off of that sprue and then put them onto your t uh, tactical marines while you were building them. And it came with like three different torsos. So you, c you couldn't get tabards on everybody. You had to kind of pick and choose. And it was, they didn't fit together perfectly, especially because th that was for like the fourth and fifth edition plastic space marine boxes. When it's changed into the sixth edition tactical marine box, which was excellent, the frames didn't fit together really anymore. And so some people made it work and some people didn't. Um, yeah, it was just a whole mess. Now you can just purchase a Crusader squad, which is lovely. It's nice to actually be able to get the thing you want as opposed to having to kit bash it, having to be like the official policy was you have to kit bash these units together. Now you can just buy them and they look excellent. Also back in the Dizze, so that's how you made your, your initiates. Um, that's how you made your initiates into Black Templar. But the way you made your neophytes was just buy some scouts and those are your neophytes. And I did, I bought a lot of scouts. Um, but uh, now they just come in the box like they should have always come. And they look excellent. I really, really like them. They look, they look like regular uh, space marines, but a little bit more fancy, which is just how the Black Templar should be. Their weapons are all chained to their hands like they should be. My only small caveat with this is they were very faithful in refreshing the Space Marine Scouts, which I think is a little bit of a bummer because Space Marine Scouts have always been on the weaker design uh, uh, design for me in Space Marines. They look a little bit like football players and these guys maybe look a little bit more like football players. But I think, I think I'm gonna just throw a little extra chain on them, maybe a couple of little extra things dangling off their belt and I think they will look just fine. But yeah, these guys are excellent. What's kind of fun is that the neophytes are on 25 millimeter bases, the initiates are on 32 millimeter bases, and your sword brethren sergeant is on a 40 millimeter base. So it's quite, quite a hodgepodge collection of units, but that is how the Black Templar do. And speaking of how the Black Templar do, there is also a new upgrade box, an upgrade sprue that you can purchase for the Black Templar, and it comes with a whole bunch of sculpted shoulder pads, alternate heads, shotguns for the scouts that you get in your Space Marine Crusader squads, and a whole bunch of extra bits and bobs. Like the, uh, and it also comes with a bunch of really cool bits that represent the relics that you can actually take in the game. So if you want to take like the Aurelian Shroud, that instead of just saying, oh, that the banner on that guy is the Aurelian Shroud, there is an Aurelian Shroud bit that you can clip, paint, and put onto your miniatures. And so I think that is really, really cool. And I actually hope to see that with all of the armies moving forward because some like these relics and stuff are really, really cool. And it's always just sort of been a, yeah, just figure it out. But it's cool to not necessarily have to do that and just have really interesting bits that are available. It also comes with a multi-melta that you are actually able to put onto your Primaris vehicles, which is a Black Templar specific thing and is really nice because in a Black Templar armor, you want to bring as many bodies with chain swords and, and power swords as you possibly can. And so it's nice to just throw on some multi melts here and there on some models that you're already taking, as opposed to being like, okay, I can't take the fourth Crusader squad because I have to bring, you know, a Razorback to be my heavy support to take out some of the tougher targets. As cool as the upgrade frame is though, I actually suggest not purchasing it. And the reason I suggest that is because the Black Templar have a combat patrol and that upgrade frame is included in the Black Templar combat patrol. And so it comes with, it comes with the Crusader squad, the generic marshal, five intercessors and the Primaris repulsor tank and, and the Black Templar upgrade frame and decal sheet. So if you're a Black Templar player, probably buy the combat patrol because it comes with everything you'd want for a discount and you also get that upgrade frame for uh for free you're paying for it because you're buying the thing but uh, it comes cheaper than buying it separately and then you have that frame to dish out all of those fun decorations to all of the miniatures you purchase so yeah really good combat patrol the weird thing about collecting black templar is before the combat patrol came out but not too long before the combat patrol came out, the Black Templar army box came out. It was kind of a letdown when it came out. It came with one squad, one crusader squad, the generic marshal, 
the Emperor's Champion, and a Redemptor Dreadnought, which are all good units, but it was a little, 12 models was a little light for $200, which is what the box retailed for. And so some people picked it up, some people didn't. It also came with the Black Templar, um, the Black Templar Codex Supplements and the Black Templar Rules Cards. Don't ever buy the Rules Cards, it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, this, this box, people were excited because new Black Templar, but it, it was so kind of lacking in stuff that people didn't flock to pick up this box. And not that long after they sold this box, they came out with the Black Templar Combat Patrol, which came with all of the same stuff and a bunch more for way less money. For $50 less, you got way more Black Templar plastic. So you can actually pick up the Black Templar Armory set very, very cheap right now. <laughs> it's, as of making this video, it is on Amazon for I think $97, which is a little less than half off, or a little more than half off. So if you're planning on picking up some Black Templar, not a bad way to do it. I mean, if you're an existing Black Templar player, you almost surely already have a Redemptor Dreadnought, which kind of stinks. I mean, the Redemptor Dreadnought rocks, so most people already have one, if not many. So another reason why a lot of people didn't pick up the box. But if you consider it just purchasing the Crusade Squad, the Marshal, and the Emperor's Champion for $97, it's still, it's still kind of a deal. So the Black Templar Army box as it exists today at $97 is sort of a pretty good deal. But yeah, really, really bizarre that uh, Games Workshop decided to do that. I wonder if it just didn't sell as well as they wanted it to and they were always planning on releasing the Combat Patrol when they did, or if like they were trying to keep the hype moving and so they wanted people buying Black Templar and so they're like, they're not buying the box and so we're gonna sell them the, the Combat Patrol and people will buy that. I don't know, it's hard to say. We're always guessing with Games Workshop, and you know what? I bet no one's right. <laughs> it is really, really an exciting time to be a Black Templar player. It's awesome to have a proper Crusader squad. We always should have been able to just buy it because it's always been a thing in the game, but forever we have not been able to just buy a Crusader squad, so now we can. The new Sword Brethren are absolutely immaculate, and the kits are not Sp super specifically Black Templar. Like if you just like the look of them and you want some really cool like Vanguard veterans or something, you can totally just leave off the Black Templar shoulder pads in the cape and kit bash them into whatever you want. And I know that my next purchase is definitely going to be Hellbrecht. That model is super, super awesome and I can't wait to put all of my painting might into painting him and his servitor friends. It's really interesting how they did the Black Templar because when Primaris came out, it was, the Primaris, I really like Primaris models, but they are all like vanilla. But the Black Templar have shown us that Games Workshop is totally capable of doing really, really cool specific chapter Space Marines. And so I bet that we see in the future, we see them do the Blood Angels and the Space Wolves, the other unique chapters of Space Marines. And I think that that'll be really, really cool when it happens. But ah, good old Black Templar. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.